Right when I snooze, right when I, I cannot lose. What's up, gang? And we back in this. Dang, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, y'all. So we got Brooklyn, our missing wife. Now, before we get to the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And again, you'll give you a new one. I'll probably do. Let's get to it. See you around to it, y'all. Boyney, why does this wet microphone in the toilet? Turn the microphone. That's disgusting. Oh, my gosh. Here, it's not be that dumb. They can't hear you. Me, me and Brooklyn got dresses, dresses like... Get yeah, always in all black. Wait, you said it's a brush? Let me brush it. Oh, no, 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 no. Get no, no. that away from me. It's wet from all the piss water. It's a toilet brush. You use it that's before you wipe. Why wouldn't you just wash, Boiny? <laughs> we could use it after you flush in case there's leftovers. Ew, what am I doing with it now? That's disgusting. You already played with it. Oh, yeah, that's just great. That's great. Karen, you know, sometimes I think my life would be better without you. <laughs> you don't mean that, Boiny. Yes, I do. Look how fast I'm nodding. That's how much I mean it. <laughs> Right, because then she, then she just messed with Mickey, Donald, and Goofy. <laughs> she gone. She out of there. What the hell is that? Oh. <laughs> he probably not even going to care that his wife going to miss him. No. Shut up! <laughs> what the hell was that? Was that a flash thing? Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. They just kidnapped my wife. Oh, my God. What am I going to do? <laughs> I knew he wasn't going to care. Oh, it's the best day ever. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Hose. That was great. I knew well, he wasn't going to care. I guess I should probably call the cops and report my wife kidnapped. You did not. Uh, call the cops. Here, guy, what's going on? Somebody kidnapped my wife. You what? Yeah, we were just sitting on the couch minding our own business, and I was telling her how much happier I would be without her, and then all of a sudden these two random guys broke in, and they threw a flashbang at us, and they kidnapped her. That's and then fate. I went to the strip club to grieve. Well, why didn't you call us <laughs> up? <laughs> he said like he's guilty. I went to the strip yep. club to grieve. <laughs> I had to go to the strip club you know, to, to grieve. Wait a minute. Guy, didn't you take out a huge life insurance policy on your wife just a few days ago? Well, yeah, but that's because she got in her third car accident, and I figured, hey, if she's going to die, I might as well make some money off of it. Well, you know, mate, that does sound suspicious. No, 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 you guys don't actually think I hired somebody to kill my wife just because I told her I would be happier without her. That's and crazy. I took out a big life insurance You're policy just on her. And I went to the strip club to celebrate. I, I mean, grieve. All right, mate, put your hands behind your back. What? No, 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 come on. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> well, let the judge decide that guy. Oh, come on. This is so bogus. Order, 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 order. I am the Honorable Judge Cooper. And so today we will be hearing the case of Brooklyn Guy, who is being accused of arranging the kidnapping of his own wife. But first, I'd like to thank our courtroom sponsor for today, Dragon City. Yes, that's right. Today's trial is sponsored because our federal funding is quite limited. Mm -hmm. So everybody, please direct your attention to the TV on the wall so we can watch an ad by Dragon Thank you, Dragon City. So, we can proceed with the case. So, did you kill your wife or what? No, Your Honor, I would never do anything bad to my wife. I mean, yeah, there are some days I wish it was legal for me to hit her, and there are some <laughs> days I want to suffocate her with He's a pillow. He's been digging a himself a big hole. Look at his face. the brain world, but every husband feels that way about their wife sometimes, right? Mm, yes, I can agree. My wife can get on my nerves sometimes, too. Oh, but I'm a little nerves. confused, though. When you realized your wife had been kidnapped, you went to the strip club. Why didn't you call 911? Oh, well, I thought whoever kidnapped my wife would probably bring her back after five minutes because she's annoying as hell. <laughs> also, there was this stripper I've always wanted to pap, and I thought this would be my only chance to go to the strip club without my wife calling me asking me where I was. Well, it's just a little suspicious that you didn't call the police. It's Why? almost like you were celebrating that your wife had been kidnapped. Oh, come on, Your Honor. I would never celebrate anything bad happening to my wife. You can ask anybody. They'll tell you I love her. Like, Sim Simmons, don't I love my wife? No. no. But don't, don't listen to Simmons. You don't know what he's talking about. Ask anybody else. All right, then. Let's ask your daughter. Penelope, would you say your father hates his wife? Would he ever cause harm to her? Oh, my dad hates her. He always that says she's did annoying, it. and he's always being mean to her. My dad likes to play Grand Theft Auto and run over women with a car, and he pretends it's his wife. He would That's definitely crazy. hire someone to kill They're her. They're talking too much. Oh, come on. No, uh, your Honor, I... But that's your daddy. Uh, look, if you guys get a chance to clear my name, I promise I will do that. Hmm. Okay, I'll tell you what. I give you 12 hours to prove you are innocent. Just 12? But if you can't prove you didn't do this, I will bang this gavel so hard and send it to the electric chair. <laughs> Deal, your Honor. Out of my way. Marvin, I want to get my nails done. Baby, we're puppets. We don't have nails. Oh, man. Hey, guys. 
You just walk into our house without asking or ringing yeah, the doorbell? Yeah, it's really time. important. I'm in a lot of trouble. What's going on? Well, my wife got kidnapped. Oh, no! Well, your wife got kidnapped. Who would do that? I don't know, but the worst part is everybody thinks I did it, and now I have 12 hours to prove my innocence or I'm going to get the electric chair. Well, well, what evidence do they have that you did do it? Well, none, really, but I mean, hey, we need a problem, right? Okay, so who do you think would kidnap your wife? Who would want her? I don't know. I don't know who would want her. I don't even want her. I guess that's why I'm the prime suspect. I don't think anybody hates my wife more than I do. Hell, maybe I did do it and I just don't remember. Oh. Did drunk. you do it? No, 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 no. I couldn't have done it. Well, is there anyone that hates you and is trying to frame you? Hates me? Me? I'm Brooklyn right. T guy. Right. I carry these videos. Look at any top ten list. I guarantee I'm number one. And if I'm number two, it's right after this bozo. Like, <laughs> come on. Look at him. You the man. I, I carry those videos. Uh, no, nobody hates me. Where am I on the list? Oh, you're not even top ten. You're right. not even top twenty. Nowhere. You're Nowhere. right at the bottom, right under Mr. Pig and Corn Dog. Okay, let's stay on track. Who do you think would kidnap your wife? I don't know. I don't even know where you go to hire goons to kidnap wives. Oh, hold on, my phone's ringing. Maybe my wife. Okay, guys, what I was trying to say before I ran out like a babbling idiot and definitely didn't forget my line is hopefully they let my wife go and that's her calling me. But I can see from the caller ID, it's not. Not my wife. It's my ex-wife. What? Oh, Ain't got a virgin. She be calling. That's so wacky. Hello. Hey there, Deborah. Hey, look at me. She sounds like Mr. Meeseeks. We didn't have a lot of options for voices. Deborah, what do you want? I, I was just wondering if you picked up Penelope from school today. Yes, I did, Deborah. Oh, we thank said, you. Oh, we. I'm starting to think maybe Deborah kidnapped my wife. Oh, so I was wondering if maybe you wanted to get back together. There's the motive. Hey, Deborah, I think maybe you should come over so we can talk about this. Oh, is it gonna be food? You gonna yeah, it's gonna be food. Oh, is it gonna be a lot of food? Yeah, a lot of food. Oh, Okay, just call me when you get here. Actually, you know what? You don't have to. I'll hear the dump truck pulling in. Okay, guys, my ex-wife's on the way. Wait, why is she coming here? Well, because I'm 99% sure she kidnapped my wife. So if we can just record her admitting it, I can show that to the judge and I won't get the electric chair. Hopefully, he'll give her the electric whale tank because I don't think she's going to yeah. fit in a chair. Okay, so what can we use to, like, motivate her to, to tell us? Oh, food. Well, well, what kind of food does she like? Oh, any food. It doesn't matter. Anything with calories and fat, a lot of fat, lard, mayonnaise, butter. I mean, you... She'll eat anything you put in front of her. She's like a goat. I saw her eat a can one time. Like I'm not a can. I'm not yeah, like a can of SpaghettiOs. She couldn't open it, so she just like, ate the whole damn can. Wait, what? Like, the What's the can. point? Yeah, the whole thing. She has a stomach like a trash compactor. Okay, well, then we need to grab some food. Yeah, let's go get the food. Okay, more of right. Oh, snap. Whoa. Is this for it all of like, us it don't taste like nothing. Oh, no, this is just for Deborah. She probably won't taste like nothing. This. Marvin, this, this is like a light snack for her. Damn. She's probably going to complain because there's not enough food. I got five is triple Whoppers good? with cheese and onion rings the and, thing I have and I got a bowl of ketchup to wash down her plate of french fries and I got a chocolate shake and Tell she's them. probably going to complain because it's not filled all the way to the top and just to be safe, I got two beefy five-layer burritos and two chalupas and That's the one. I just don't understand how she can eat all this. Oh, yeah, she makes Joey Best thing they got. She's banned from all eating competitions all around the world because of her bottomless stomach. All I have is like a chicken sandwich from Burger King. She your wife? I hope so. Wait, Let me stop wait, the cat. Burger King is not all that bad. I think she's like, I'm it's like at the bottom of the list. Oh, I wish I would have tried it when they had the, the Spider-Man burger. She's off the dump truck. She's heading this way. But I didn't get the chance. What do we do? There's nothing you can do, Marvin. Okay, she's at the door. I'll answer it because she eats people when she gets startled. Hello? Hey, Brooklyn guy, it's me. Oh, he's he already had Talk about Hey, it's good to see you. Have you lost weight? No, I've gained 20 pounds, actually. Oh, well, you know, that's that's not surprising. Wait, is, is that a beverage from Taco Bell? Yeah, I got hungry on the way here, so I ordered a little snack. <sighs> Thank you for that. That's crazy. Yeah, I ordered 12 chalupas because I was so hungry. Oh, Nine your normal chalupas? order. Well, that's great because you knew you were coming to dinner. So it's great that you ate first. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Oh, yeah, those 12 chalupas didn't hold you over? Yeah, uh, ooh, is all this food for me? Yeah, I got you a whole It do look good, though. So I, I can't get it. do look oh, good. those triple whoppers. With triple cheese. Whoppers. And bacon. And onion rings, just like you like them. Oh, so that's the one I got you. Yeah, triple whopper with bacon, cheese, and onion rings. my favorite whopper. 
Okay. Yeah, well, I think anybody. I'm gonna try to like Jeremy. Yes, it's the biggest one. I have a question. When did her voice start sounding like Mr. Meeseeks? Well, ever mm -hmm. since she saw that one episode of Rick and Morty, she thought it was really funny and decided to sound like that for the rest of her life. It's me. Look at me. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. To be fair, it is a very good impression, but to keep that up for the rest of her life is quite a commitment. If only she could commit to losing weight that much. Okay, well, we have to get her to admit to kidnapping your wife. I know. I have an idea. Hey, Deborah, I think we should play some truth or dare. Oh, are you going to dare me to eat all this food? No, because you're going to do that anyway. I was going to ask you a truth. Oh, are you going to ask me my weight? No. 600 pounds! Damn. Okay, well, that doesn't count. What I was going to ask you is, did you have my wife kidnapped? No way! See, with the Mr. Meeseeks voice, I can't tell if she's being sarcastic or not. Like, was that serious? Oh, hold on, my phone's ringing. Who is calling me? Hello? Hey, Marty! What, Karen, where are you? Are you safe? I'm back at home! At home? But where have you been? The kidnappers dropped me off, Boyney. They said I talk too much. Do you think I talk too much? I don't think I talk too much. I talk a little bit. Oh, my much. God! Shut up! Give me the phone! Damn! Hey, man, listen. I'm sorry for flashbanging you. I, I, we weren't going to kidnap your wife and ask for ransom money, but holy shit, she's the most annoying thing I've ever seen in you my say life. That. Mm -hmm. So good luck. Me and my partner, we're going to turn ourselves in. Wow, yeah, she is pretty annoying, isn't she? Oh, yeah. Uh, thank you. Well, my wife is safe. That dude look good, so though. Your ex-wife didn't kidnap me. Maybe because I had a burger no, like no, no, no. two she's months. fine. But that means I just bought my fat ex-wife five triple whoppers and a whole bunch of junk food and made her think I want to get back with her. Ooh, now you make her think that about giving food. Hey, Deborah, I heard Krispy Kreme is offering three dozen donuts to the fattest person. Ooh. I win! Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I've never seen her run that fast. The table's shaking. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna do that for a while. She's still running. She's about a seven on the Richter scale. Damn. A six hundred on a regular scale. Anyway, I'm gonna go tell the judge my wife is home. You might want to get under a table or something. So they have a well, 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 no rose, cause Brooklyn guy's wife be funny sometimes. Boiny, that's funny. It's like right there. Can y'all see that? It's like right there with each other. But man, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. Back right here, we catch you on the next one. Peace.